So Gregory's attitude is a prime example of the retroactive reimagination of Vatican influence and power that had come to pervade the papal mindset, and is representative of his belief in the primacy of the Roman See, which he thought had authority over all of Christendom. Related to Gregory's attitude of Roman primacy was his program of selectively rewriting Christian history in Western Europe in order to gloss over the Vatican's lack of importance in the early eras, and as, ha as had happened previously with the legends in the Acts of Sylvester. Increasingly alienated and isolated from the Greek East, the Pope was free to rewrite church history to demonstrate the Vatican's centrality and its role in the creation of orthodoxy, ignoring the Greek origins of the church and the role of the emperors in the councils. <laughs> 